Hello everyone and welcome back again to Vintage Story. I'm Gritty Crow and well, I'm just chilling here on the uh, on the old stairs in the house and uh I'm ready to do a bit of uh a bit of housework as it were. So um let me go ahead and get myself up and uh let's grab some blocks. I want to um I want I want to get the house from looking so uh so flat, as it were. Um, so yeah, I wanna I wanna do some some gussying up of the place. Also get my hut on here, uh, so we can see. I've cleared out. Well, apparently not. Uh, <laughs> some of my inventory, I thought. Uh, I have oak logs in here. I'm just gonna grab a arbitrary amount of these. Maybe. Yeah, we'll get two stacks of them. They go to sixteen. So. Yeah, hopefully that's going to be um, enough for our purposes today. Uh, I, I somehow incredibly doubt it, though. Uh, as we're doing, um, yeah, that housework we were talking about. And I'm thinking I, I don't go anything real fancy with it. I'm thinking I go like that on each of the corners uh, to kind of pop it out a little bit. I might go... Oop. I might go this around the doors. Um, I mean, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. Um, I do something around the doors. I might chisel these ones here at the doors down. Um, cause it's a little restrictive. Yeah, I might, uh, I bring them down. Or I might remove these ones entirely. I don't know, I don't know. But I, I do want to bring the, uh, the... Ow! Ow! Jeez Louise. Come on, guy. I guess it is a medium night. Uh, hmm. Well, then. Uh, let's put this away. Uh, I got a crap ton of peridot stones. Um, I have been uh, making some storage. Uh, some of these are just... Well, a fair few of these are just empty. Um, I'm actually going to take one of these. Uh, that I'm thinking about doing, you know, this whole reorg thing, and uh, we're going to throw one under the stairs here to uh, to be an actual gearbox. Uh, and I don't mean gears as in the, the money gears. Uh, I mean gears in, like, clothing and stuff like that that we've uh, we've come across. So I'll grab this box at some point. But yeah, I've got some other things uh, that happened. I've been gathering up some materials for this, uh, for this expansion, as it were. Keep that guy. Uh, and also got some, some blue clay shingles. Whoops. There. Got some blue clay shingles to, uh, to work with. So, 104. Which is nice. Plus, I'm going to rip out part of the, uh, part of the roof sections. And I put down all of my tools. Uh, but I kind of need the pickaxe. Uh, as I don't want to spend forever just hand-breaking all of the roof shingles, as it were. But, uh, we're gonna go ahead and sleep. Uh, get, get the day light here to work with, as well as get rid of some of these drifters. Ah, morning, and unfortunately there's a temporal storm coming in, um, coming in about a minute. So that's, um, annoying. I feel like I just had a temporal storm, too. Hmm. But yeah, I need, uh, I need all of this ripped out. There we go. Uh, I'll have to replicate that onto the other side as well. Um, can I actually break these down for shingles? Uh, I doesn't seem that way. That is um, most unfortunate, as uh, I means I just kind of have a loss of resources. But uh, oh well, kind of expected, given what. Uh, what I know about the game, uh, and I forget about 30 seconds before this temporal storm hits. Great. I'm gonna go hide in my hidey hole for this thing. Uh, as I, um, I don't, oop, uh, storm is imminent. Yep, get up, ow. I've got food on me. I want, um, a couple of copper spears. Uh, we have a 
put those up there. Uh, I have a Falx. All right. And uh, to the drifter hole. Oh, and things are going all wibbly wobbly on me. Uh, I'm actually going to throw these on. Like so, there we go. Come on, drifters. Come here. Uh, I should actually build a, uh, a proper... <laughs> a proper, um, what you call it. Uh, so I can actually fight these guys. Hey, you, come here. Yeah. But being able to stab at their feet, kind of like that, uh, is nice. I did not bring my knife with me. Oh, great. Um, I usually go through flint knives in a decent rate, so, uh, I'm not upset if I make another one of these to use in place of my bronze one. Uh, hold on, I have a, uh, have some bones here, apparently. Well, uh, we'll use a bone handle, shall we? A little more durability. Is it needed? Not really. Uh, am I making it? Yes. Alright, and uh, this is going to be me looking out this hole, poking at the feet of drifters. And there it is. Uh, all taken care of. Um, I took a few more hits than I wanted to. Uh, a few corrupted drifters, few tainted drifters. Uh, but all I got was a single rusty gear and uh, three flax fibers. Um, so that's an not super great. Uh, ooh. Please, no. Stay up there. Oh, God. Oh, no. I don't have the appropriate tier of gear for you. But, uh, so long as we're out in the open, I'm happy to, um, I'm happy to hunt you. Like so. Oh. Damn. Oh, well, no, you're not. Why are you moving? Is that just your weird little death animation? Uh, and you gave me nothing. Green. Yeah, I need to make an actual, like, temporal storm area because that's, um, that one's not great. Heck, that one's not even good. So, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> we got it. Uh, let's drop the falcons there. Let's throw that there. Lost one of my spears. Uh, well, lost it broke in the, um, in the ensuing battle. Uh, so yeah, there's the ant. Uh, but I need to decide, and I think I'm gonna do oak planks. I know I'm using a lot of oak for this build. Uh, but on the, uh, kind of on the end caps here, I want to use, uh, oak planks instead of log system like this, um, to kind of, kind of wall in the, the edge there. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Also, I need, um... I need food. I actually didn't have any bread on me. Thought I did. Use up this bread before I start cook out. Ah, before I start cooking some meals. There we go. I should have a little satiation pause, I believe, uh, each time I eat a piece of food. Um, See, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll hold off on you know just stuffing our faces because um, I don't know whether or not that stacks. Um, so yeah. We've got these. Uh, I'm going to need more. Whoops. Uh, I'm gonna need more of these. Give me that. All right. So that's 35 uh, end roof pieces. These corner pieces. I'm yeah, not really gonna be getting back at any point. Uh, well, I mean, I'll get them back, but I'm not really gonna be using them. At any point. Probably not for, not for, for this stuff. Um, so, ow. So, yeah. There, and there. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> Why? Why have you forsaken me? Alright, so I'm thinking like that, and then we come like this to give me that uh, little lip and overhang here. Please don't tell me I have to make... I'm probably going to have to make more... Um, <sighs> make more blue clay shingles uh, if I want to maintain this uh, this 
aesthetic that we've got going on here. Uh, I do want this gate to open. Uh, this happened around the back end as well. So I'll have to get rid of some stuff like this. Um, you'll have to go... You'll. Oh, wait. I can actually remove all these because that should shield my, my pit kilns here. Um, so yeah, give me all this dirt back. Dirt and pack dirt. All of it. All of it, please. There we go. Get all of that. Oop. Uh, get all of that. Uh, throw that there. Yes. Yes. Very nice. Do that. Yeah, I can rip these things out too. But yeah, I'm going to need more blue clay shingles. It would seem. It would seem. Uh, which is which is okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not um. It's not the greatest, but uh, I need a freaking axe to grab that now. Oh, dang it! It's a problem with the misplacing of things. Uh, I thought I had a in use axe. Was that you? No. Hmm. Where did I not have an axe I was currently using? Did I break it? Huh. I guess so. All right. Well, um, new bronze axe. Who dis? There we go. So much quicker, too. Yeah. Nice and fast, like. Uh, the problem is, kind of, the garden <laughs> eats into that, so I won't change this. I will change the roof to come to the end, but uh, I won't change anything about the uh, the garden shaping. So that corner right there will be without a uh, a wood support pillar. To kind of break the plane, but it's a, it's a smaller plane anyways, so I don't think that it really needs it. This flower's got to go. Perfect. All right. Uh, yeah, I wish there was a way I could break these down um, to get these three back per, uh, because that would give me, you know, more of the angled boys, but uh, it is what it is. So, another piece of bread. Uh, so I now need to get onto the roof. Uh, I have some ladders we'll, we'll slap down. Uh, for the temporary to do this. Oh god. Maybe <laughs> maybe do this. Um what is, uh what's happening here? Oh god dang it. Whoops. Didn't mean to fall. Alright. So we get that. We need to rip out Ugh, this whole end here, uh, because this is elongated, I don't like that too much. I might rip out this and let this section still be curved. Uh, yeah, let me uh, let me grab all this and and see what that's like. Ah, there we go. Uh, all right, and then I need to drag these over, uh, and it may help to to actually do this build if I um elongate this section here uh, to give me this this larger room here in the back. Uh, that would uh, change kind of how this interacts with uh, with the rest of the things. Yeah, I don't think that looks too terrible if I just kind of let it terminate into itself like this. Uh, these parts I'm a little more leery of. Uh, and I think if I get some of these blocks... Here, where it does this transition, uh, I can make it more accurately mirror um, what it should look like. So maybe I'll grab some of those before uh, before I continue this, and then I'll replace this section coming with uh, with them. Though it does kind of turn it at that ninety degrees, so this would hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Hold on. Let, let me just uh, let me throw in what we've got and uh, get a better idea of what I'm working with here. Because I'm not the best at predicting how how all this turns out. Uh, yeah. So that ended up like that. So I think I do need these these curvature pieces coming down, and I can kind of have that eat in. So ah, oh, great. I need um, I need blue clay shingles. So, um, oh god, dude, get up. Wasting, wasting the night. 
or the afternoon rather. Uh, but I need uh, I need to do some clay forming then. Ah, so here I go forming clay again. There we go. Taken care of. Got all, got all my stuff. Uh, need to now fire my pit kilns here. So, at that. 32, 38, 44. Oop. Take two of that back. Oh, right. I um, have flower pots. Place these here. Now I need dry grass. Uh, I have enough sticks on me. I should have enough dry grass somewhere. Uh, oh, I'm storing it all in here apparently. 20 pieces of dried grass. Probably need some food. Um, rice and uh, rice and carrots apparently don't go together. Uh, so we'll do a um, a hearty carrot stew then, uh, and I'll put the rice back. Uh, let me grab some aged firewood because it's not good for anything else. And I can't use AIDS firewood in a uh, in a pit kiln apparently. So there's uh, there's the ant. I'm actually gonna grab one more set of that, just because. Just happy to burn through it. All right, so that'll uh, that'll spend a little bit of time cooking up. Uh, I'll probably be out of food before then. Um, hmm. you know, carrots aren't really that valuable. Uh, they're fairly bad crop uh, so I'm just gonna eat a few offhand just to uh just to tide me over until our mill has been cooked oh god let me let me through also I thought I had um yeah here we go I'm gonna use some of these horse tail poultices just to boost my health back up uh there it is that's uh it's not full but uh it'll it'll do for now it will do all right so we have our dry grass Goes in there. Goes in there. We have our sticks. And then I'm not going to use firewood, and I can't use that firewood. I'm just going to use some peat. So I need eight blocks of this. Plus it, I think it fires these pit kilns just a little bit quicker. So, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm always happy to cut down a little bit of time on doing this. Go. I don't think that'll propagate to that. Uh, I think it's far enough away. Is oh God, the barrel's not. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. Did I already pull up the... Uh... Oh. There should have been compost in there. Oh, no. I just destroyed that compost. God dang it, and that stuff was on like 18 days. Son of a... <sighs> it, it only had like a couple more days to go. Seal. God. Because <sighs> I don't... I didn't... Oh no, I got it. Oh, here it is. Oh, thank God. Okay, so I got my, my 16 compost. It was uh, It was already done. Whoo, that was, uh, that upset me for a second. Yikes. Uh, yeah, got some compost. Um, <laughs> perfect. So compost is good for Terra Preta. So you need two, four, six, eight. So it's either good for two or it's good for four blocks of Terra Preta. Uh, the 16s. <laughs> yeah. 20 days. I should make more barrels, uh, because I, I've been just boiling stuff like crazy, so I've got compost also that blasting powder we found i could probably do something with that um yeah oh and our our food's done let's uh let's have a bite to eat mm, carrot porridge even the hearty stuff doesn't give you a whole heck of a lot so 
Unfortunate. But, uh, yeah. So, back to the roof. Um, give me my lantern back. Have a little satiation pause. I don't know how long, again, it pauses, but, uh, I do know that it pauses for some amount of time. All right. And I can't do much with that, but I do know that I want these all to come over one more. To give me the, uh, the overhang on the edge of the, uh, of the building. So I can do the, the front face on this side, and I can do both faces on that side. And this set here. So there, here, 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 and here. And then this going down, but I've only got two left, so, uh... That, and, yeah, let me up that, and that. Okay, ah, I was hoping to make that jump into there. So, yeah, nothing much I can do. Uh, and I do want the, uh, I need this pack dirt, please. Uh, this breaks my, yeah, this makes the room too large. Uh, and it's now considered external. Well, actually, if I pack in this, give me this, give me this. Oh no, I need a, I need a saw. I don't know, not an axe, I need a saw. Thank you. So on this, just turn all those into, um, to planks. Just give me a bunch of these. I have some glass. Um, it is just, uh, oh god, do I have, a, I, okay. Quartz glass, uh, I'll keep the regular glass. We'll use the quartz glass that we made. Uh, because I do want windows on either ends of these. Uh, I don't want it to just be straight flat looking. Hmm. Plus, I kind of like the, the frosty look of this. Uh, for, for an attic window that you probably don't clean too much. Uh, let's be honest. And, oh, seriously. A bunch more of those. There and there. Yeah, so that encloses that. Does that give me my... Ah, I gave me my house buff back. Yay! That and... Ooh, yeah, no. Those planks have to come over. Which means that room will be a little deeper. Uh, which is okay with me. Just want to validate on this side how far... Uh, okay, so it's in line with the, uh, with the other stuff. That I can get behind. That I can get completely behind. Uh, so it's going to be here. So I go ahead and take all this over. Probably about that far. Maybe do a window there. Something happened there. Um, if I could do a double window here, because this is going to come over. That room will get a little larger. Which, uh, which we're happy about. Yeah. Also, I have uh, these flower pots. Uh, and didn't I pick up a heather? Yeah. I can do some flowers in some places. Uh, I'll probably do some, like, under the windowsill. Um, work here. Uh, chisel in something. Maybe out of, like, a maple log. Uh, do I have a birch? Do I have... Actually, give me birch. That's, uh, birch should be a brighter color log, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Yes, yes it is. Uh, how many does that give me? One. Two. Oh, it'd give me three. Eh, why not? Give me, give me, give me the three. Give me the three. Let's go ahead and place these. I want to say here and here. Yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll do some chiseling. Alright, uh, chisel and hammer, chisel and hammer. Uh, I have a chisel. And I have a hammer. And I can chisel these two blocks, and let's make a beautiful, well, let's make a little shelf, and actually, I could have um, a pot to see how one, can I place another block here, uh, okay, so, ah, alright, alright, let's, um, Let's chisel away then, shall we?
And there we go. Got a little, uh, little show thing happening here. Uh, and I don't think it looks too terrible. I'm going to place another one there. Uh, take my hammer off. Unfortunately, can't place, uh, place two of these here, apparently. Um, so yeah. Uh, but I've got one there. Which is nice. Which is very nice. Place that there for now. Um, you can go back and you can go back for now. And that gives me my, uh, a little shelf here over my window, and I'll uh, I'll get some heather, I guess. I'd like a couple of different variants. Ooh. Take a look at that. Still kind of see out. Uh, I don't really need to see out too terribly much, anyhow. And it gives a little personality to the room. Uh, speaking of personality, whilst I wait for uh, the pit kilns to continue to fire, let's uh, let's do a little bit of work. And get our uh, our fireplace actually started. So I want to come back. I want the actual fire pits to sit about right here, uh, and then I want here to be the back edge of the chimney. Um. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Oh wait, that's gonna interfere with that window. Ooh. Okay, so maybe I'm not gonna be able to have a window here, uh, unless. Unless I came up to about here and then chiseled in the, the funnel for the smoke to, to rise out like that. Meaning this would be blocked most of the time by by smoke if you had that running. Which also makes sense for the um, for that quartz glass to be as hazy as it is. With, uh, you know, just soot gathering and, and depositing up on it. So we'll do that. That. Uh, I'll do another block here. Uh, and here. And then on the internal side, uh, there's going to be a block here to get chiseled out a bit, as well as this will get chiseled out. And I can inlay my fire right there. Uh, but let's see what other blocks I, I'm, uh, I'm sporting that I've gathered up. And we've kind of been hoarding for a little. Uh, we'll do this Age Ashlar Paradwite. The green, I think, would look a little more proper, as if... Um, as you clean it, it kind of dirties the block each time uh, with the ash and the soot and whatnot. That's uh, it just gathers up right in there. Uh, oh, these are also paired white. Uh, I, I guess that's kind of kind of accurate, isn't it? Uh, I'll have to rip these out. These will go in here uh, and then get chiseled. Uh, but I'll do the the chisel work for that later. Uh, nope, that's uh, solid stones. Ah, here we go. Wood goes in there, other than oak, which goes down. Uh, and I, I want more of these chandeliers, because this thing sheds so much light. Like, it's insane. And now, uh, now I play the waiting game for these bad boys. Uh, and I guess while we wait, it's a medium roof activity tonight, so, uh... Oh, it's actually almost... It is morning, actually. Um, whoops. So, being morning, I'm actually going to take these, uh, I'm going to say granite stone fences. Uh, because, well, I've just been using up my, my blocks. And I want to replace the, the fence line here with, uh, with stone fences. Got these ones here already. i give me my axe. Uh, but I do want this farm to expand just a bit. Uh, it's a 3x3 three three right now, which is, I mean, it's not the end of the world for for a little starter farm. I should get a proper farm, maybe up and running, specifically for flax, or just expand out. Um, taking, or leaving this little section here open to maybe dig down and do a big charcoal burn pit right in here. Uh, and then kind of expand this. So if I do a charcoal burn pit, I want one, two, three, four, five blocks. I would go here for a farm expansion. Uh, that gives me out what one, two, three, four, five. I'll go six. If these are, um, let's take a three by three section. 
So if I did... Oh, wait, yeah, all these would have to come out and move as well. Hmm. Hmm. Conflicted. The Greedy Crow is conflicted. The Greedy Crow is over his confliction. We're not doing this expansion to the farm. We will bring out the farm uh, just a little bit further uh, to accommodate a edge. So an edge, a water source, an edge. And then if I do the farm either here, because uh, that'll give me one more set of three uh, to grow in. Uh, and I think I'll be content with that. We just do this and then bring this over. Hmm. I have to move my reeds. That's uh, something I should have thought about. There it is. Get those back. You, you. Oh, you gotta go. Sorry, friend. I brought you a little too far. And I'm gonna do this and this. These pillars every... Every so often. And I want to make, um... Bowls and take fat and make a uh, little oil lamps that are placed on the edge of each of my farms to kind of shed a little light outwards as well as inwards, so I can uh, I kind of have a better idea of what's going on everywhere. Uh, but with those set, those ready, time to rip out the old the old fences. There we go. There's that. I still do like these double high layers. Uh, if I go here, oh, whoops, and there. I do still like these being um, protected, quote unquote, or shielded rather from uh, from things. Now, this this won't stop a bear from getting in there, but uh, I do think it looks nicer. Um, hmm. And maybe these ones come out. I'm thinking. So you and you. And I'm not going to break this fence line here uh, until I get ready to uh, till and plow all this. That way, you know, rabbits potentially spawning in this can't just run in. Which, I mean, it doesn't matter right now. I don't actually have any crops down. Uh, so it wouldn't change literally anything. There we go. Gotta get that taken care of. Then this set here. Uh, there is a... Um, there's a 3x3 three three door. Uh, back. Let's see. The blah, 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 blah. Door. <laughs> Please. Uh, crude door. Um, <clears throat> yeah, three tall door. Needs, ah, nails and strips. Yeah, I'd rather a set of three tall doors right here. Um, to be like, uh, gates that kind of lead into, uh, to our backyard and, and garden area, as it were. Or... Are there actual, ooh, two by four gates or one by three gates, actually? One by three gates heavy. Oh, I can't make that. I have to find and break that. Ooh. Two by two gate. Ooh, I can make these, though. Hmm. Makes more nails and strips. Pine. Uh, and I think it's a little too large for, um,. For the size of what we have here, so uh, we'll do we'll, we'll just do regular ones. Uh, but I don't actually have any nails and strips left, so I'm gonna have to um, make some. Probably best just to make up a, a few of them. And we uh, I've got spares on hand, as it were. Uh, but I think I'll I'll deal with the the gate and the conversion of this later. This one should probably go. We do gate. I can do a. Should we be able to do like yeah, one of these these aged wooden gates? Okay, so that's or fence gates. Yeah, so I wanna I wanna change out this internal run. There we go. All right, so you and you, and then I want to change this over. Gate goes there like that. Now let's grab a few planks, do I? Okay. 
What was it? That. And that. There we go. And our, uh, our gate. I do like that. Yeah. Yeah, it looks a bit nicer, don't you think? Now, I could have made the nicer fences, I guess, to have gone along with this. Um, especially for this internal side. But I like the... Um, I like the how solid this this kind of fence line looks like that. And they're, real, they're simple and easy to make. Uh, they're not very resource intensive. So uh, I think I'm happy with that. Now, if only these things would finish up, uh, I could finish the roof. But, uh, yeah. I think I'll do that uh, on my own next go-round. Uh, or between this and the next... Um, the next episode, as we're getting close on time here, uh, was I placing, uh, I, I wasn't really placing anything anywhere, uh, consistently apparently, put that in there, okay, yeah, there's packed dirt in here that I, yeah, I need to, I need to just sit down and do some stinking organization, don't I, because this is, this is ridiculous, this is absolutely bananas, Bananas, I say, bananas. Just B-A-N-A-N-A-S, bananas. And that goes there. Uh, so I've placed away uh, a fair few of my things here. And, oh, I still have, um... I still have some planks on me. Uh, there we go. Yeah, but I placed away a few fair things. Open up this. Yeah, this, this wall needs to get, uh ripped and moved backwards and whatnot so might as well grab those these pine blocks don't really need to be in here this will expand the uh the overall internals of this this room uh we'll do that for now because i don't know if or where a uh a window will go for that room uh until i get the rest of it kind of you know plotted out but i think that's actually going to do us for uh for this quick little little buildy builds episode that we uh, that we've had, it's uh, not incredibly long, but we did some major and key important things of uh, making our house look a little better or on its way. Unfortunately, I had a shortage of uh, you know materials, as it were. Um, in fact, I need to grab a couple more these. I don't think I needed three. Uh, but I, I did decide that the, uh, the double here, like this, was worth that happening. And walk in like this. I won't do anything, any trussing right here, but I, that extra support right there on that front end, I think, I think is nice. Uh, I like it. It's good looking. Uh, maybe at some point I'll do something to decorate these, these internals or like Put some like storage or something just like out here like barrels kind of lining these these inlets uh that is about so yeah might actually turn this into a double door as well and then do that and then have these inlets here on the outside of the workshop lined with barrels uh but i'm not entirely certain just yet but we can figure it out a little later in the house i think is actually um actually looking a bit better so uh yeah, I'm happy with it. But, like I said, that's probably it for this one. So, thank you everyone who watched. I appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And if you're new around here, subscribe because there's more like this on the channel. There's other styles of content on the channel if you're uh, into something else. And it's there for you. But regardless of what you do, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending your time with me. And remember, until the next one, to stay safe out there.